So good morning all. So today's section will be discussing uh, in general, okay, not related to your subject, but in general about your microprocessors, microcontrollers, uh, available their the functionality, specifications, features, those type of things will be discussing in general, okay. So it's like it's like summarizing you on the entire units, okay. So we'll be having an overall view. So what is the microprocessor? What are different types of uh, variants available? And what is the microcontroller? And what are the different types of variants available? So we'll be discussing about this in uh, um, briefly. Okay, fine. So before starting this, uh, can anyone tell me how what is the major comparisons between your microprocessor and microcontroller? Any one or two major differences between microprocessor and microcontroller? So, or how does the architecture differ for a microprocessor and microcontroller? So it's very basic. So after completing your uh, and all the units, uh, so back to the basic question. major differences between microprocessor and microcontroller. So why what happened? Not even a single response. Swati, Ujwala, Vignesh, Sanjay, you people used to reply normally. What happened? Yeah, very good. It's a good initiative. So microprocessor will have only CPU, whereas the microcontroller will have ROM, RAM, and other peripherals. Yeah, it's topmost uh, comparison. So if we take my microprocessor, the functional blocks of any microprocessor, if we take, will be having, a, as usual, a ALU, uh, some resistors, timing and control units, okay? And whereas on the other hand, if we take a microcontroller, so it includes uh, um, the, all the functional blocks of a microprocessor, okay? And in addition, it also has what? The timer, uh, parallel uh, uh, IO ports, serial IO ports, internal RAM, uh, you may having EEPROM, uh, uh, EEPROM memories, okay. So even there are some microcontrollers which have even ADC and DAC functions also. That's what uh, Swati D has mentioned. So microcontroller has RAM and ROM internal and also other peripherals. So ADC, DAC and all these comes under timers. So all this comes under peripheral devices. Very good. So now the topmost comparison, okay, between a difference between your microprocessor and microcontroller. Okay, it's accepted. Then... Any other differences? See, even if it's uh, wrong, it's no, it's no, it's not a matter. So you can come out with answers. If it is uh, um, wrong, I will, we are there, we are there to rectify it, correct it. Okay, uh, let me tell uh, one, or more, one or two differences, then you can come back. So normally, no, uh, microprocessor, uh, so as uh, previous, uh, from previous step, uh, previous uh, uh, difference, you can just state that what, there is no internal memory, uh, sorry, uh, in case of your what, microprocessor. But here we have inbuilt memory available, uh, memory chip available microcontroller. So input or ports, all these are external in case of a microprocessor, whereas all these are internal in, in, in microcontrollers. 
and uh, mostly no microprocessors they mostly they operate on either byte or word uh, data so which means they'll be having very few uh, bit manipulating instructions normally uh, whereas uh, your microcontroller so they often manipulate with the bits uh, and uh, so they have normally what large number of uh, bit manipulating instructions normally okay and um, if you see if you take microprocessor okay, so if you take microprocessor the overall size of microprocessor is large in microcontroller size is small okay very good again uh, compact in size uh, it's a valid point okay thank you swati so see again uh, if you see means uh, so swati had mentioned another one, one more different comparison so normally no um, microprocessor they usually uh, require interfacing uh, with a large number of uh, addition ICs we need to form a microcomputer based system in general so obviously what happens means that if you take a pcb of a microprocessor based system it will be large and obviously cost also will be what uh, will be costly so that's what uh, swati was about was uh, mentioning it so large so pcb of a microprocessor based system is will be large since we are going to add what a large number of addition ics uh, to form a microcomputer based uh, system uh, whereas in case of your microcontrollers uh, 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 so it can be used to microcontrollers no they can be used to form a single chip uh, uh, what microcomputer based systems so there is no need of any additional ics normally okay because most of the peripheral devices are inbuilt uh, the requirement is uh, nil or sometimes very less okay so the pcb of your uh, microcontroller based system no will be small in size and obviously it will be what cheap okay so there is another important uh, uh, comparison and the most probably no the, um, so microprocessor will be is mainly concerned with the, what uh, fast or speed uh, uh, speedy movement of your uh, code and data between your external memory and microprocessor so which means what we have large instructions as well we have large instruction large number of instructions for uh, mm, moving the data from your uh, external memory to your microprocessor so on the other hand microcontroller if you take uh, so it will be um, mainly concerned with what rapid movement of your uh, uh, code or data within the microcontroller itself so obviously we have here we have what few instructions uh, uh, for data transfer between your external memory and the uh, microcontroller because inbuilt we have memory so obviously the um, there is a few instructions uh, are less um, for data transferring between external memory and uh, microcontroller so considering all this what we can conclude is uh, microprocessors normally they are used for designing uh, uh, general purpose uh, digital computing systems okay like computers okay for computers you can see but uh, microcontrollers you can use it uh, for designing uh, application specific uh, or uh, uh, dedicated systems okay so for those uh, type of uh, systems we go for what we prefer microcontrollers okay and um, so you know we have lot of uh, manufacturers uh, who manufactures these microprocessors and microcontrollers uh, uh, who is the leading manufacturer of these um, microprocessors and microcontrollers leading manufacturer for this microcontroller microprocessors and microcontrollers what happened why there is no reply so who is the leading manufacturer of uh, microprocessor microcontrollers yeah so i can uh, i think she is in doubt so obviously what intel okay it's a leading manufacturer not so i'm not telling stock most it's again leading manufacturer okay so because intel no if you have noticed uh, not sure whether you, are, you you remember or not intel has almost manufactured a more number of microprocessor microcontrollers uh, uh, than its counterparts okay Uh, do you can you name any or uh, some at least uh, some um, ten uh, microprocessors uh, released by Intel? I think you can easily uh, mention uh, ten. Ten different types of microprocessors that are released by eight zero eight six starts with eight zero eight six. Very good. Only eight zero six. So, what about the processor that you use nowadays in your laptop? Most of the processors will be what? Eight zero eight six. Eight zero eight six. Very good. 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 Eight zero eight six. Very good.
what is specification of those uh, processor in your mobiles in your laptops tablets so what it may be so uh, intel has started uh, um, its um, processor from starting with uh, 4004 actually this is the first uh, introduced uh, microprocessor by uh, um, Intel, uh, I think in the year 1971, okay, with a speed of 400 kilohertz. Just imagine what is the speed, what would be the speed at that time? 400 kilohertz clock frequency. So 4004, followed by 8008, 8080, 8085. 85 was your uh, uh, five, uh, was 8 bit processor with a uh, 5 megahertz uh, speed, okay, clock speed. Uh, Actually, uh, previously, in previous semesters, uh, you have uh, there is an there is an option to for there is an, uh, a chance for you to go through the eight zero eight five because uh, syllabus starts from eight zero eight five, but now they have upgraded to eight zero eight six, starting from a sixteen bit processor. So you have eight zero eight eight one eighty six two eighty six. Hope you remember now. I think one we have studied, we have gone through its advanced process eight zero one eighty six two eighty six three eighty six and four eighty six. So all this we have seen. So again, 386, we have three different versions. Um, 386 uh, DX version, SX version, SL version, we have different types. Again, 486 also we have versions, different versions. Uh, and uh, moving on to 5086. I think we have also discussed about this uh, Pentium. So in Pentium itself, we have a uh, different uh, uh, variants available. Pentium it's, uh, 1, 2, 3, Pentium Pro, uh, Pentium MMX, Mobile Pentium, um, and then mobile Pentium 2, 3, um, and on, uh, Pentium 2 Xeon. Uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, variants available in Pentium itself. So almost if you see the speed will be above 120 megahertz, 200 megahertz, 300 megahertz, depends upon the variations, 400 megahertz. I think Pentium 2 Xeon uh, is around uh, 450 megahertz. Imagine of the speed. Okay. And then uh, up, uh, what, what are the successive uh, processors uh, from uh, Intel? After Pentium, any idea? So after Pentium uh, uh, 2 and uh, this thing, uh, have we ever heard of this process, Celeron? Celeron, C-E-L-E-R-O-N. So those processes uh, were again released by Intel. Uh, in mobile, Celeron also we have two to three different types of versions uh, um, with around uh, 300 to 400 megahertz. Uh, Again, Pentium 3 Xeon and mobile Pentium 4 and uh, Pentium 4 HT technology. Uh, Intel Xeon also, with that latest is your uh, Intel uh, Xeon, almost uh, not latest, uh, around some 2001, 2002, not sure. So in those years, uh, um, Intel has released uh, Xeon uh, processor. So the speed is around uh, uh, what, uh, uh, 2 gigahertz, 1.4 to 2 average speed, okay. Uh, depending upon the variations uh, have so imagine so how the technology has developed uh, from starting from uh, uh, 4004 in 1971 to what uh, Xeon in 2001 itself i'm not uh, still uh, 2020 we are so after Xeon uh, they started uh, uh, releasing itanium i think uh, you also would have a bit sure of it okay so itanium 2 processor itanium um intel pentium m so i think it was uh, released in here uh, uh, 2003 so can just uh, if you want to uh, uh, still have updates on this uh, so how many of uh, the uh, advanced processors have been released you can just go through the Pentium Intel website www.intel.com so there they would have given you a brief introduction of uh, all the uh, high clock versions of processors available and their uh, specifications uh, everything will be you can have a look at it okay so first for your understanding purpose only, I have so we so Intel. So the purpose of mentioning this is uh, it's one of the leading manufacturers. So that's what uh, I mentioned. What are different types of processors uh, that are manufactured by Intel? Okay. So now our task is uh, we are going to just compare what are, what are the difference between different types of microprocessor. Initially we started with uh, comparing microprocessor microcontroller. So now we are going to just see what are different types of microcontrollers available in that itself. So here we are going to compare. Uh, so your ARM processor, you're going to compare for comparison purposes. I'm going to take an ARM processor 8051 AVR and PIC. So can anyone tell uh, the acronyms for all this? 8051, okay, fine. It's a basic microcontroller. You all know it's a, what, a, a first 8-bit microcontroller uh, 
in released by Intel. And what about the remaining three? ARM processor, AVR, PIC. And I'm sure that you people would have used uh, these uh, uh, controllers uh, for your what, uh, project purposes. Uh, I think CB Vasan is here. So not sure whether he's here, or but I think he's working, he started working on a uh, um, ARM processor. I think he's using his ARM processor for a few of its uh, uh, applications or products. Otherwise, out of interest, he started learning a uh, ARM processor. So anyway, uh, I think he's not available, but still. So what is the difference between like acronym for ARM, AVR, and PIC? Forget about 8051. You can just uh, uh, discuss about the remaining three now. So first we start from uh, ARM. So what is an ARM pro ARM actually? What does ARM stands for? Are uh, there something new to you, or you have uh, uh, heard of these uh, controllers previously? Um, AVR pick. If it is new to you, let me know so that I'll proceed. I'm not, uh, but still, uh, um, you might have come across this process because next year you may we may be doing maybe in the state of doing mini products and the family products, so you should be aware of this uh, uh, kind of uh, devices available. So PIC, so I'll start from PIC, okay. So PIC basically, no, it was uh, uh, initially uh, released by a general instruments, company called General Instruments under the name Peripheral Interface Controller. But later, no, uh, due to its uh, uh, flexibility and programmability, they replaced the name as what? Programmable Interface Controller, okay. So PIC stands for what? Programmable Interface Controller, okay. So again, it's one type of your uh, uh, microcontroller only from the... A company called Microchip. I think hope you have heard of this uh, company, Microchip. So he is the one uh, who released this company. Okay, uh, who sorry, released this uh, microcontroller, and followed by ARM. So ARM is basically a microprocessor, okay, or a CPU architecture. Okay, um, so unlike your other uh, PIC, uh, AVR, and H zero five one, is a microprocessor. So ARM stands for what? Advanced uh, Risk Machine. Okay, so A stands for Advanced. R stands for RISC, R I S C. So reduced instruction set complexity, sorry, computing. And uh, M stands for machine. Okay. And then, uh, so normally ARM, no, as I said, it's a processor. So it can be used, you can use ARM similar to your microcontroller. So, but what is required is uh, you need to combine with either ROM, RAM, and other peripherals to make it as a single chip. Okay. So as Swati said, no, we need additional device, additional peripheral ICs okay, for this ARM processor. Okay. And then we're moving on to AVR. So PIC is a microcontroller, ARM it's a microprocessor, and by 051 it's a controller, basic purpose, basic uh, uh, controller. And what about your AVR? Um, actually AVR, no, it is, uh, again, it's a microcontroller uh, from the company Atmel, called Atmel. I think I hope you would have heard these terms, Atmel. And I'm sure that uh, you would have seen these names uh, in somewhere in your process board. So whenever you remove your... Uh, uh, we have a chance to see your motherboard, and if you see processor, means most of the processor will be from either from Atmel, Microchip, Atmega, uh, Intel, so these type of uh, major leading manufacturers. So AVR actually, you know, it was initially uh, conceived by two students uh, at uh, Norwegian Institute of Technology, uh, named uh, Alf Egelbogen and uh, Vegard Wollen. So actually, um, Atmel actually this claims that AVR doesn't have any acronym basically, but still. Uh, so it stand, doesn't stand for anything. So normally they call it referred to as what? ALF and Vegard's risk processor. So it is named after those two students. Okay. So ALF, ALF and Vegard, okay, risk uh, processor. So basically we are going to compare. So obviously, you know, so for comparison, normally what are the parameters uh, uh, we usually consider is your uh, memory, memory, uh, what is the memory size? And what is the power consumption? Uh, features like data bus, address bus, what is the, uh, in capability of those things, cost, speed, which means what your clock speed, and talking about your clock speed, so all these uh, parameters will take into consideration. So we're just going to compare and see uh, um, 
What are different types available? Okay. So here some here are a few of the things I have mentioned. So can anyone tell? Uh, so obviously uh, one they have mentioned AVR. So okay, fine. So which means what? Uh, Alpha and Vega's risk processor is there on the top uh, uh, left corner. And similarly, uh, what is below it is what? H051. It's a basic H051 microcontroller. And what about these two? PIC. So the bottommost is one is your PIC uh, uh, one. And this uh, STM32 Cortex. What is this actually? It's something about your arm. Okay. So arm processor. The different. Uh... Okay, fine. So exactly. Uh... So these are the major parameters which we normally focus on. Okay, so I mean, when microcontroller part of you, as I said, uh, one point, no, microcontrollers are mainly used for designing a specific uh, applications, for embedded applications. We call it as what? Embedded applications for performing a specific task. Okay, so major areas of where microcontrollers are uh, being focused. So your medical devices, uh, energy management, touch screens. Okay. How about okay, let's see. And these are different types of uh, micro AVR microcontrollers available. So normally it is available in what three different categories: uh, tiny, mm -hmm. mega, and X mega. Okay. So uh, depending upon your memory size, okay, they can classify it, and uh, uh, we are going to use it for applications. We can classify into the, these types. So tiny, so almost will be having a, a small in memory size will be less, uh, and uh, very small in size. And uh, for it, so obviously it is used for very. Uh, um, Small applications, okay, less complicated applications. And mega, so something in between your uh, tiny and X mega. So obviously we'll be having a, um, compared to your tiny mega, we'll be having quite a, a large memory. So I'll be having additional peripherals in, incorporated in this uh, uh, AVR type of microcontroller. So also, as the name indicates, it is also useful for water. You can use it for a certain um, high range applications. And moving to X mega, so it's uh, so we'll be having very large memory. Obviously, it is used for very complex applications. We go for what uh, X mega, okay? Well, and obviously, it will have being high speed in nature. Okay. So okay. So now we we'll come to our uh, main uh, topic for discussion. Okay. So okay. Uh, before doing this, I'll just uh, uh, have a brief view. We are going to compare. Uh, based on different parameters, we are going to compare your uh, 8051, your PIC microcontroller, AVR microcontroller, and a a a AMR. So remember, 8051 is um, a controller mainly created by Intel. So it is uh, still, uh, though it is, you can ask, it's an uh, old version, okay, old design. Uh, still, uh, there are a few uh, um, companies who used uh, this, uh, still it has been used by some vendors, actually, 8051, okay. And PIC it's from micro microcontroller from the company Microchip, and uh, AVR is from the company Atmel, and AMR it's um, actually a UK based company, uh, widely used uh, um, uh, by students uh, if, uh, for all big companies. So actually, it is AMR is a 32 bit uh, microcontroller. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so first uh, point will uh, start with bus uh, width, okay, um, uh, bus size. So I think 8051. So what is this bus size for 8051? What is the bus, data bus size of 8051 controller? See, at least you can, uh, it's there, 8-bit, okay. So it's an 8-bit uh, uh, data bus, 8-bit uh, in size. Uh, you pick, if you take, uh, you have three different versions available, 8, 16, and 32, depends. And um, AVR, uh, we have what, either 8-bit or 32-bit uh, uh, controllers available. And AMR, mostly 32-bit, uh, okay. And 64-bit uh, is also available, okay. So mostly what it bits uh, in nature. So it's a uh, so obviously uh, from data bus uh, point of view. So which one is, uh, has a larger uh, has, a, has a potential or a capacity of handle larger data? So ARM, okay, either ARM or AVR. Even because thirty two bit, uh, fine, okay. So, so 
the communication protocols. So, which means eight zero five one. What? What are the communication protocols it follows? UART, USART, SPA, I two C. I think you you are quite familiar with UART and USART. And pick uh, so all okay. So, in addition to what are the uh, protocols followed by eight zero five one, it also follows what can Ethernet, LAN, okay. And then AVR, so almost same. Okay, in addition to this, it also is a USB supported. And ARM, so if you see ARM, it has what uh, quite a lot of uh, communication. It accepts quite a lot of what communication protocols. Okay. And uh, moving on to speed, clock speed. So obviously, uh, what uh, which one uh, from the given data? So which is the one which works uh, faster or uh, speed in operation? So, which means for eight zero five one for one instruction cycle, it needs what twelve clock cycles. Okay. So, for pick it needs for one instruction cycle, it needs four. Whereas your AVM and AVR microcontroller, they both this uh, needs only what uh, um, for one instruction cycle, uh, it requires only one clock. Uh, so, obviously, which one uh, uh, is uh, speedy in nature? See, by comparing itself, you can say uh, which works uh, fast. So obviously, your AVM or uh, AVR. See, actually, both this AVM and AVR are uh, compiler friendly to be OK. So it is uh, generally more flexible than your 80A1. OK, it's a very old design. So we obviously go with what AVM, AVR, OK. And uh, memory types used, so RAM. SRAM flash type pick, you can just have a look at it. Uh, SRAM flash and AVR, and uh, we have used what flash SRAM E square prom and ARM also flash SD RAM. Okay, and uh, E square prom different types of memories uh, they are used. What about this protocols? So, which means what uh, instruction set uh, architecture. So, which means what? 8051, we usually follow what? CISC uh, instruction, which means complex uh, uh, instruction set. It's actually, it's not SLSC, uh, CISC, SISC, sorry. Uh, it's SISC, SISC. And uh, PIC, which is what? Uh, uh, features, some features of your risk. And both AVM and AR, what? Uh, they follow reduced instruction set uh, computing. Okay, so both are. Uh, so, obviously, what? Uh, we, as the complexity of the architecture uh, increases, no, obviously instruction set uh, it's getting reduced. Okay. Single instruction is able to perform what uh, um, all the operations. And moving to the uh, memory architecture, so I'm not sure whether you are uh, familiar. You have heard about this uh, one human architecture, Harvard, modify Harvard. Okay. So if possible, I'll take I'll take you later. I'll take you later. What is the uh, one human architecture? What is Harvard architecture? Okay. So normally, 8051 microcontroller, it uses a uh, uh, one human type of architecture. So PIC uh, follows uh, Harvard, AVR uh, uh, and uh, ARM both uh, follows what? Modified Harvard architecture. Okay. I think uh, of all these things, uh, AVM and AR uh, uh, as what? Uh, better architecture, okay, in terms of. And uh, moving on to your, uh, coming to your cost, uh, power consumption, okay. So in terms of power consumption, what? Uh, so Obviously, what you pick uh, AVM, AR, all your recent process, no? So recent times, if you have noticed, means we always uh, try to uh, what, uh, um, invent devices which consumes less power. Okay. So I think the hope you have noticed in all your domestic appliances. So there will be uh, uh, ratings based on your power consumption in all your tea, uh, fridges, uh, washing machines. So out of five, they would have uh, rated uh, 4.5, 4.4. So depending upon it, so almost some even five also. So most of the cases, power consumption in our days, uh, uh, we are designing such a way that what? Uh, the device consumes less power, OK? So almost all the devices comes in low power. And then uh, moving on to families, OK, different types of. Uh, so 8051, we have uh, different variants available in 8051 also. Eight zero and pick. Uh, so here I have. We have so what I was just uh, listed. Okay, still we have few more uh, variants available. So some of the major uh, or uh, most widely used variants have been listed here. So here we have tiny at mega. So this uh, tiny and at mega. At mega we use mostly. Okay, for most of the products we use is at mega. Okay. 
and arm process we have a uh, version 4 5 6 and 7 and it's a successive series we have and communities uh, so which one you'll say uh, is best so if you see means no uh, we have uh, actually trade of uh, when to select uh, which uh, microcontroller so um, normally 8051 no uh, it's a uh, Again, uh, very much uh, uh, less in cost, very cheap microcontroller available. But uh, if you if you feel that only basic functions is sufficient, then you can go. For, you can very well go for eight zero five one. And uh, mm, so because it performs only basic functions, and if you feel that is sufficient for your project, uh, then you can go for eight zero five one and low cost, as I said. And uh, most of the college projects know that the students uh, do. Uh, mm, they use eight zero five one for basic functions. Okay, and uh, for ARM. So when I come to ARM, no. Um, so ARM basically, when when there is a requirement for a, what a, um, fast uh, or a computing. So when uh, when your main ultimate uh, uh, target is your computing speed, no. Then in that case, you can go for one ARM. Okay. And uh, also, if there is a need for a large number of timers and ADCs, if you want to, if you want, uh, uh, if there is a requirement like that, then again. You can select what ARM process. ARM process is best suitable for those type of uh, requirements for the uh, fast computing time, and uh, there is a large need of uh, timers, ADCs, and ESCs. Okay, and uh, coming to PIC, so again, uh, PIC is also less in cost, is cheap only, and mostly will be used uh, PIC uh, PIC uh, microcontroller. No? Uh, it will be used widely used in refrigerators, uh, and also for uh, some uh, low budget applications uh, projects. We use what uh, PIC. And uh, moving on to AVR, so AVR uh, nowadays no to be uh, to be a uh, 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 white. So most properly used category of microcontroller is your uh, AVR uh, uh, microcontrollers type. Again, they are cheap uh, sort of cost wise, uh, and they have uh, the main advantage is that uh, in AVR we have large number of library files incorporated in it. So um, so obviously you know when. We, we have a large number of uh, files incorporated. Uh, you can use it for a wide range of applications. And mostly it is used, uh, AVR uh, and microcontrollers, no? Uh, they are fine wide applications uh, for robots, okay? And uh, as a beginner, if you want to learn, means, uh, yeah, well, you can go with uh, AVR, okay? So uh, you will feel comfortable working with it. Okay, that's the main thing. And uh, moving on to manufacturers, uh, so they have different types of uh, manufacturers for uh, uh, different microcontrollers. Okay. So as I said, uh, 8051, uh, though it is initially introduced by uh, Intel, still uh, uh, we have NXP, NXP semiconductors, uh, we call it as uh, Atmel, Silicon Labs, Dallas, Cypress, Infineon, Infineon. So all these are, uh, uh, it may come on a top top uh, manufacturers of your uh, integrated circuits. Pick, uh, so microchip, okay, average. So we have two different uh, versions. And AVR is slowly manufactured by Atmel, okay. And ARM, moving on to ARM, uh, we have what, again, different versions. Uh, uh, Apple, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, Samsung Electronics, and TI. TI is nothing but Texas Instruments, another uh, one of the leading manufacturer of your ICs. Not only ICs, other peripherals also, okay. So Texas Instruments, uh, yes, okay. and uh, coming to cost. So I think we have discussed already. So just now I said uh, 8051 is going to be very much uh, uh, what uh, uh, less very much less in cost when compared to other uh, controllers. Okay, and then uh, uh, for the pick and EM average uh, cost, and again EMR EMR is still low. Okay, fine. So other features uh, we have. Uh, so known for 8051, it's known for simplicity uh, and uh, for easy understanding of a microcontroller. We go with start with what 8051 and uh, pick AVRs. Uh, see all this, you no, know, depending uh, so upon the functionality that we need. Okay, so we can select accordingly. Okay. So almost in markets, all these processes are available. So even uh, uh, in Chennai, it's available in almost all the uh, what, uh, electronic shops. So. And last one, uh, these are the proper uh, microcontrollers and the different versions. So I think in, uh, in our college, we have this uh, 8051, we use this uh, Atmel, uh, 80, 89, uh, C51, as well as available. So we use that only. And um, uh, we actually, we need it to use that only. And apart from that, we have this P89 version 51. So this is also available. 
as an individual IC, but we are not using it, but still it's available. Okay, and uh, pick uh, different um, microcontroller versions we have at AVR. You can just have a look at it. I think uh, in lab we have this ARM processor. Uh, and uh, if possible, I have. A, we'll take a pick and send to you. Okay, we have that ARM processor available, and also Cortex M7 is available. Cortex M3 and M7 is available, I guess. Okay, Arduino board. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I think the Arduino community boards uh, you are much familiar with, uh, because most of them are doing experiments with uh, using Arduino. And this is uh, overall comparison. So whatever discussed, uh, just uh, we are comparing it overall. So if you have any uh, queries, you can just uh, ask. So any doubts, any queries you have, you can uh, post your questions. <laughs> 